Hello everyone, this is Don with MechSoft Support. I wanted to take a moment to give you a brief quick start uh, video on using Visual Camp 2017's new feature-based machining uh, capability. So what we have here is Visual Camp 2017 uh, loaded. Let's go ahead and open the part model for this video. Go to the quick start tutorial you should see a part called Feature Machining Quick Start. We'll load that. So what we have here is, uh, let's go ahead and turn off the grid so we can see this a little bit better. We have a part, a 3D uh, solid part. Now, nothing really special about this part uh, other than it has to be a poly surface, closed poly surface or a solid. Uh, model in order to extract the features and we have a uh, two and three axis part here with a lot of different features on it let's just take a look at them real quick uh, we have some closed pockets a open pocket we have uh, some slot features a closed slot a angular uh, through slot and then a pocket slot over here uh, these two go all the way through. This one uh, does not. And we also have a protrusion here, a boss. And we have a couple of hole patterns. We have a smaller hole pattern here and a larger hole pattern uh, in the middle. And this feature on the back is a uh, three axis pocket feature. It's three axis because it has a contoured drafted surface and a fillet uh, at the bottom, which you uh, need three axis uh, machining to complete that. Okay, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to extract all the features from this part and program it for machining. So we'll go down here to the Machining Objects Bowser and pick the Features tab and we'll select the uh, Create Machining Features icon and it's going to prompt you to select the flat area to detect features. What we're going to do is we're going to select this top face of the part and right click and Visual Cam will detect all the features it can from the part. Let's drag this up a little bit so we can see what we got here. We've got a whole list of features here that uh, Visual Cam detected and we'll review them real quick. We have uh, the orientation, which is all these features can be machined from this one orientation. And then we have uh, the planar face. We have the prismatic pockets. There's the closed pocket and the open pocket. We have the slot features detected. And we have the three axis pocket detected here in the back. Then we also have our boss and we have our larger hole feature in the back and then also a, our feature pattern, through hole feature pattern in the back. Let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to uh, create tool paths uh, for these machining features once they're uh, extracted. So let's go ahead and we'll go over to the tools tab and see that we have a number of tools already loaded with the part. Uh, one thing I do want to mention here is that we're going to be doing a lot of things that uh, we're not going to cover in detail, such as setting up your part, creating a tool. Those are covered in other Quick Start uh, videos uh, for Visual Cam 2017. So I recommend you look at those uh, ahead of time for more detail. So we'll go back over to the Features tab. To create an operation from a feature, you simply select the feature, right-click on it, and select the operation you want. We're going to do a facing operation. So here's our feature that's selected. We'll go ahead and pick a tool. We'll use a half inch flat mill. Feeds and speeds, we'll load those from the tool. All these, these are simply default settings that I have stored with these operations. So you can, you can change these settings or uh, use the default settings that come with this particular part. So we have a uh, clearance plane, we we'll set that to automatic, and we're roughing, uh, everything looks good. Let's do a 40% step over, cut levels. Now, the feature information 
that VisualCam extracts, it understands not only the XY extents of the feature, but it understands the depths of the feature. So here it tells you that uh, it has a, needs a rough depth per cut of a quarter inch. We'll go ahead and accept that and pick generate. So show you the feature here. There's our uh, facing operation for this top part. Now what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and machine our pockets. So we have a open prismatic pocket here. Let's go ahead and right click on that and we'll do a facing operation. And there's our pocket feature. For the tool we use the same half inch flat mill. Everything else should pretty much be the same. Let's generate. So here's our tool path for the open uh, pocket using a facing operation. Let's go down here and do our second pocket, which is a closed pocket, prismatic pocket. We'll go ahead and right click on that and we'll select pocketing. There's our pocket feature with a tool. We'll use a smaller uh, eighth inch, three eighths inch flat mill for this pocket. And everything else for the cut uh, depths, we have a minimum depth of a half an inch and the rough depth per cut is a quarter inch. So we should have two levels. Let's go ahead and generate that. There's our pocketing uh, tool path. Now for our slots, uh, we're gonna do these all in one operation. So we have a, a through slot, an angled through slot, and a blind slot over here. So we'll select our slots, right click and pick slotting. So uh, VisualCam 2017 has a new slotting tool path. So we have our features selected here with a tool. Uh, this is a half inch slot, well, so we'll use our half inch end mill. And for the slot parameters, everything looks good. So for the cut levels, it tells you you need a minimum depth of a quarter inch. That's the minimum depth of this smaller uh, blind pocket here. So we'll, we'll leave that set as a rough depth per cut as a quarter inch and pick generate. So you can see here, we've got the through slot here. We've got a through slot there, and then we got our blind slot uh, there. We're gonna simulate these all at the end here in just a moment. So we've got our uh, three axis pocket here on the back. Let's go ahead and create some three axis operations for it. We'll go ahead first, uh, right click, and we'll see all of our three axis operations to choose from. Let's do a horizontal wrapping operation first. There's our feature. For a tool, we'll go ahead and use the 3 8 inch flat mill. For the cut levels, uh, that all looks pretty good. We got the clear flats option check, so it's gonna clear the bottom area. Let's generate that. So there's our roughing operation. And let's go ahead and create the finishing. Right click on the feature, and we'll do this with a, a uh, parallel finishing operation. There's our feature. For this uh, tool, we'll go ahead and use the quarter inch ball mill. For the cut parameters, uh, we'll leave that angle set to zero, 10% uh, step over. Let's go ahead and set that to 5%, get a real nice finish on that. Entry and exit, everything looks pretty good. Let's generate. So there's our really nice uh, parallel finishing operation on that three axis feature. Now let's go ahead and work our way down here. We can collapse these as we do them. So we've got our slots done, three axis pocket done. Let's go ahead and do our boss. And for the boss, we'll use a profiling operation. There's our feature. For this tool, we'll go ahead and use, we can use the 3 8 inch flat mill. And for the cut levels, uh, it's a quarter inch depth and we're gonna rough it to a 1 8 inch level. So there'll be two levels. Let's go ahead and pick generate. There's our profiling operation for that feature. And let's go ahead and do our holes. So we got a, la a larger hole in the back. Let's use a um, hole pocketing operation for that. So we'll right click, select hole pocketing. There's a cross section of our hole. For the tool, we'll use a half inch uh, flat mill. And for the cup parameters, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and generate that. And there's our uh, hole pocketing operation for our larger hole. Let's go ahead and do our smaller hole pattern. We're gonna do these all at once. So we'll right click. And for this, we'll do a drilling operation. There's our cross section of the part of the hole feature. 
For this, we'll use our quarter inch drill. Let's go over the cup parameters. We're gonna use a deep drill. Here's our drill depth that's needed. That's three quarter inch. So all this information is extracted from this part. And as you know, noticed so far, we haven't had any need to select any geometry from the part uh, so far to machine these features. So we're gonna do a step increment of one eighth of an inch and pick generate. So there's our hole pocketing, our drilling operation for the hole features. Now, let's go ahead and now that we got everything programmed, you see that we've created all these operations directly from the hole feature, uh, from the uh, machining features that were extracted uh, from this part. Very quick. Uh, save a lot of time. Uh, this is the, the future of uh, machining uh, with MechSoft Visual Cam, and uh, this is a large step forward in this uh, release for extracting all these features and being able to machine these uh, very quickly. So let's go ahead and do a simulation. We'll start with the facing operation. Let's slow, speed that up a little bit. So there's our facing operation. Let's go ahead and do uh, the second facing operation. There's that uh, pocket feature. We'll do our pocketing operation. There's our second pocket. Then we'll do our two and a half axis slotting operation. Let's slow this down a little bit. There's our three slots all in one operation. Let's go ahead and do our three axis feature on the back. Do the, our roughing operation. Speed that up just a little bit. There's our roughing operation for the three axis feature. We'll do our parallel finishing. There's our three axis parallel finishing on that uh, three axis uh, feature, hole pocket feature on the back. We'll go ahead and do our profiling operation. We'll slow it down for this. Clean up that uh, protrusion. We'll do our hole pocketing operation. Let's go ahead and step through that so you can see that a little bit slower. Nice hole pocketing operation there. Do our drilling. Our deep drilling, it shows the peck increments. Let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit. And if you noticed on the, uh, the, deep, the deep drilling operation, we have uh, sorting uh, selected, so it does it in a minimum distance sort. Now that we have all of our uh, machining operations completed, let's go ahead and uh, get a little bit of information about what we've done here. So we'll go ahead and select setup and get information. And it lists all the operations that we've created, estimated machining time. Uh, as you can see, it took us uh, a lot less time uh, to program this part than it is going to, to machine it. Just uh, almost an hour uh, to uh, machine this part. And I think it's taken us, what, about 10 to 15 minutes to program all of these uh, machining features. So let's uh, also, we can do a setup sheet. We'll go ahead and pick setup. Right click and pick shop documentation. We'll go ahead and select, uh, let's say, select template two for this one. And it will go through all the features, generating a setup sheet. So here is our setup sheet, our HTML based setup sheet. Shows you a picture of the part, uh, your stock dimensions up here, and your tool list, your tools that are required. And it shows each feature uh, that's being machined. There's our facing, facing, pocketing, slotting, here's our three axis roughing, and our three axis finishing, and our boss 
that's a profiling operation we use there and our hole pocketing and then our drilling operation. So as you can see, in just a small amount of time, we were able to uh, machine this entire part, uh, creating all of these operations uh, directly from the machining features. Now also we can go ahead and let's go ahead and post it out. So as you can see, we have uh, our Haas uh, post selected. Let's go ahead and we'll select the setup, right click and pick post. And here is our uh, G-code file to machine this part directly from the machining features. Well, that's all for now. If you uh, need more information uh, about us or the products that uh, we offer, you can reach us at www.mexsoft.com. Uh, you can also come to our website for additional tutorials and to uh, contact us and also uh, set up training. Uh, you can do everything right from our website. Thank you.